But he's a nice guy. Look at the big smile on his face. He's like, yeah. he's like one of those dudes, you know? Like, he'll smile all day and then just knock somebody out. <laughs> Builders in the magazines. And there's a lot of speculation. This year it's going to be official. Look at that. They've got robes. Know what they weigh. Boxing Ladies robes. Gentlemen, first bodybuilder, Rich Gasparri. Did they used to, they used to do this a lot, Ron? Reducing his body weight uh, over uh, over last year. Uh, you mute it, Ron. Oops. Bucky on stage and making his waist look small. He feels he'll be able to uh, be more of a threat, more of a viable threat to, to Lee. 209 and a half pounds. I'm going into this show. I think your mic's off, Ron. The best that I can be. And that's hey, I no talk. way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't hear anything you said. I said, what's he weigh, 209? And then they said 209. Sure, you did. Yeah, I'll never celebration know. And everything. <laughs> you know, I was saying this the whole way training oh. this contest. But now it comes down to the watching those, I knew that. Read my lips. <laughs> Rewind. Read my lips. Look at this. I looked at, at his delts. I looked, I, looked how, I looked how full his delts were around here, and I thought, it's 209. Yeah, yeah. How would it not be? This is such a cool era, man. If I could go back in time to hang out at Gold's, it would be right around now. Yeah. So this pants. is where like the dumbbells currently are. Like, but there's a the big rubber floor and like all that. You know what I mean? This back when it was just all white's a bold move. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of things getting seen. Now, you might think you've got a stringer, but that yeah. <laughs> that's that's a real stringer. In the gym now, they wouldn't let you train. They'd say you have to put a shirt on because you're not wearing a shirt, technically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It is Unless you're just It's like a stomach cover. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really it. He's got a he's yeah. got a waist no, cinch on, huh? Or is that his... No, is yeah, that I think a, you're right. Or, or Yeah, or it's Look a belt. That, one of the yeah. two. So now I have a more of a streamlined physique, having a small waist, but a thicker upper body, That's a thicker funny. back. Everyone says my back's improved. And my 209. Plus, I think with time and maturity, we won't have time to watch this whole thing because it's like an hour long. But they go through like they've got him in his kitchen here. Oh, look at that oh there's a boat neck. See, that's oh, a that's yeah. real boat neck. See the that's traps. a classic. Perfectly fit. Flawless. Oh yeah. Oh, are these T-bars? Oh no, I thought he was bending over to grab a T-bar. Dusty's got a white belt, doesn't he? You still got your white belt, I Dusty? I do. Wear it all the time. I always thought a white belt was a bold move, too. Yeah? Yeah. I don't use it to cover my junk. No, no, I just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just think of how much sweat gets on it, and I just thought, I can't do a white belt. And then Dusty just rocked it till it wore right out. Exactly. Love that thing. But a lot of times the day after a show they start drinking Love and eating this. and they'll blow up like balloons. He was talking I about diuretic use. The knowledge I learned from dieting was me reading books. I try to get as many books as I can on dieting. You know, I get books, handbooks of the nutritional uh, contents of food here. Has a listing is all different foods. That's huh. funny. Exactly Everyone had that book. Carbs, fats, Did they? Sodium. That's amazing. Everyone had that book. Kinds of books on nutrition and, you know, Anything to do with nutrition or supplementation, I read about. And I think that's what's helped me out a lot in my dieting. And just me experimenting with my body, I've learned what works for me. Is that calf. Not much left that sock. There. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those sweatpants. It's a place where you hold water because with gravity, you know, the, the water usually goes right down to your... your I'm going to jump ahead here, see what else is yeah, yeah, yeah. we have going on. See who else we got. Oh, yes. Oh, the fat boys with Samir Banu. Oh, my God. Wow. How is this real? I allowed him. I allowed him. I made a major mistake. I said, welcome. Haley, I heard him talk about that mistake. And I haven't competed with him for three consecutive years. Have you ever competed against him in one? I won. He won one, and I won one. And right now, the winner take it all. You know. So Lee oh, because Simi beat him in '83. Could be ruled by a lion. Uh, oh, why is he kneeling? 
he said i think it was 84 was the year that he uh he ended up doing a little bit of the uh the cocaine the cocaine uh, in, right. in backstage and uh he he said he couldn't get it he couldn't get a pump he was too flattened out interesting oh, that's funny really? it was it's on happy muscle backstage. radio years years back like i'm talking a decade ago he, he was telling about that story on heavy muscle look at those crossovers those are just epic look at the jump just, i love he's jumping i love it what i'm saying i was cut up a two twelve, very very cut up and right now my goal is uh to, to be on september 10th about 208 right now i'm 202 my reserve is totally out which is one of my procedure. You know, I deplete all glycogen from the my muscles. My reserve. No excess have... water in like your body that. at all, not uh, even in the muscle. I believe it or not, I mean, I don't know if this phrase can tell you something, you know. <laughs> just, uh, I feel like I was in a concentration camp. <laughs> it's a train when you're depleted. <laughs> can't say that now either. No, you no. can't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> all the tension and stress that he's under and uh, just take things in stride. I bet you she so relieves you it. Do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> meals for him and uh, see to it that he has what he wants at the time he wants it and good bodybuilding <laughs> I'm just very helpful whenever he needs my help my that's one thing they all had in the 80s store, pick up some yes stuff, lima beans and uh, special pastas and uh, all these distilled pasta water, and lima beans gotta have your pasta and lima beans if you're getting ready so for a bodybuilding show <laughs> that's amazing is that Ralph Moeller Ralph Moeller he yep. towers over the rest of the lineup. He'll what be huge, like 285 seven, or something. 288 pounds. Oh, you're so oh. close, Ron. <laughs> 88. <laughs> oh, yeah, big he's guns. a big dude. That's one pound off. How it goes. How Beckles, he'll be like 213. Albert is our youngest competitor. <laughs> our youngest <laughs> competitor. It's amazing how a guy that's 58 years old can look this good. 50, Jeez, I hope 58? to be living at age 58 rather than be competing for the Olympia title. 200 pounds even. 200. 200. Oh, wow. He's 58 years old. Luis Fritas. Luis Fritas, yeah. He's small. He'll be under 200 pounds, I think. He just won the universe. His father is a, a very uh, prominent industrialist in, in, in Brazil. Weighs in a 219 and a half. Oh, Whoa. that hair alone was the 19 was pounds. It's that hair. I thought he was smaller than the broader. For, for some reason, I thought Luis Fridas was real tiny. Tremendous feeling just to be up there. I love the hair on that guy. Nice feeling is actually yeah, that's great. In the show. He started, He had it before Dorian. Muscle for me means a little bit of. That's a lot more the rock and roll than Dorian's was. Dorian yeah, had like yeah, just the, the hockey back. mullet. He's had the mud That's like yeah. a hair metal band mullet. Oh yeah, that guy's like a bass player in in you know a Poison cover band. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like how he pulled a few down in the front on purpose. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Eduardo Kowak. There's no absence of. I didn't know who that was. It's almost too much in the times. He came from the NABA he was a freak. by the way, over to the IFBB, and he was a tremendous pro champion. And, and, and the the hair, man. Can't get over the hair. All the hair on all these guys. From the, the I love that Tom Platz is, is doing the uh, voiceover the whole thing. Yeah. This is his best year. I mean, 1988, we see him finally coming into his own in the IFBB. That's he funny. Unbelievable. I have never seen him look this good. And he can tell he knew it. He knew it. When look I love eye, all the old silver and like now, universal equipment. Oh yeah, like the silver rings. frame universal stuff. Uh, apparently, um, some last. It'll be like 185 or something. Place this week between 180. Frank and Lee. We'll see what happens to, uh, on Saturday night. 176 pounds. 76. <laughs> Fucking middleweight. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I watch Lee pose is that he is a master. Every. Movement. Imagine doing that at the weigh-ins now, or at yeah. the athlete meeting now. You strip right down, step on a Imagine scale, that, hit man. He is a champion. Like, he hey, all the pictures would be all over social, like instantly. Oh yeah, yeah. The show Robbie's be still already. kicking ass. The legend. Robbie's been around, I think, maybe longer than Beckles. Robbie from California. Maybe like two ten. It's interesting to note that. Uh, Robbie I like Ron. Is a strong man. inspiration to Lee Haney. Two sixteen and a half. You're close. Ooh, that was a real close one. Gary Stratton. Ooh, all right. There we go. He's weighing the hat. That's cheating. Yeah, two twenty seven. I think that he's actually held off purposely or two twenty three. Mr. Olympia. 
to try to groom himself uh, to do the very best he can upon his first entry to the Mr. Olympia. 229. Okay, you were close. You said 227 at first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And out of the gym towards my physique. It's hey, a Gary. very demanding sport. It's probably Impacts. the most demanding sport around because it's 24 hours a day. Non-stop. Like all the people just filming and standing there. Yeah. Like just look at the crowd just standing there while I was trying to train. You go. Physically, it's where These people you go. are in the gym. They don't even lift. The environment uh, can weaken you. And just there for the freak so show. Gary Stridham was known for being like the first guy uh, that always had a hard shell cooler with him. Oh, really? Like a, like a real cooler. Like oh, carried around a hard shell <laughs> cooler. All of his food. food. It. I'm going to get rid of you this in I mean? a minute here. Yeah, yeah. He was like kind of one of the first guys that everyone's like, Gary's always got his food with him. You yeah. Know? He ain't messing around. No, no. On stage, and all of a sudden, they just don't look as good. Who's that? Bodybuilding, Victor. Oh, Victor, Victor Richards, Richards, of course. But he didn't. Mr. Big to the whole no, he's just in the gym. Yeah, I was going to say, he didn't compete. Uh, because I believe before you could be able to compete with other people, you got to be able to compete with yourself first. And I believe just like to learn more about other people, you got to know who you are. I think too many people are so busy competing with other people instead of putting the time to learn who they are and competing with themselves first. I'm trying to perfect myself first before I could compete. He never really wanted to compete. He never really cared about it. No. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Those words that he just said, they tie in a bit with what we talked about last episode about yeah. people kind of getting caught up in competing. Like, like you know, he said, you got to know yourself before you can compare yourself to others. I wouldn't right. do that that delt race he was just doing, though. I don't know yeah. about you guys. Did you see don't that? Don't suggest that one. He yeah, was taking yeah. it, like, all the way to the ceiling. When it goes out the other side, you have a problem. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They really liked kneeling on the crossovers. It, it's because the crossovers weren't really tall enough back then. Oh, uh, so like, what you, is going if on? You were a, if you were a tall, like, you know, five, nine or over, and you did like a deep crossover, the stacks would set down. Yeah. Uh, so we always used to put a, a mat on the floor. I used to do kneeling crossovers all the time in high school. Did you ever wear those glasses while you were doing it? No. Those were for <laughs> those glasses were for skiing. Television and really do what I want to do. To be <laughs> I love this that. so much. Crazy. What I think is the most exciting. It's funny how the front of the building still looks the same. Health. Yeah, exactly. really. Bodybuilding, getting strong, just creating a wonderful environment you know? for people to be involved in. Those pitches are all still Everybody up. That's the main room. Pretty wild. Yep. Example, Crazy. Uh, the new edition of Pro Wrestling Illustrated. A huge picture of Hulk Hogan and what's he wearing? A Gold's Gym tank top. Now tell me what Damn. kid wouldn't want a Gold's Gym tank top? This ever. old. 80s. Oh, wow, look at the gym, man. It's so crazy. Oh, yeah. It would have been a great time to be there. Sure it is wild in the exact too. same gym. Ah, oh, there's just 80s MILFs everywhere. <laughs> just, just LA MILF after LA MILF. Just, just <laughs> knocking them down. Just go live there for a few months in the summer when you're 21 and just bang, bang, Clean bang, house. bang. Oh, man. That would have been the good old days. You know? There we go. Oh, there's Probably a good girl, bad girl machine. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that was Ray uh, Hallett. Who? That was Ray Hallett. That girl who was training there. She was uh, on the Gladiators. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was like Laser or something her name was. Yeah. Yeah. My Christian is one of the mascots yeah, yeah. here at Gold's Gym. Are you a little disappointed he won't be there? Yeah, I am, because I really thought Mike could win it. I really did. And it's not Look at this guy. He's, I he's love this guy. Boys. He's the best. Hey, they asked me, why didn't you go on Olympia this year? I said, I had to work legs today. I can't miss a leg day. They say I have weak legs. I can't miss a leg day. What the hell? <laughs> Mike Christian. Mike Christian was someone you did not fuck. Do I, I almost f bombed yeah. and they have to edit it. You do not mess with Mike Christian. What do you mean? He knocked he knocked a guy out in Gold's Gym more than once, I believe. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like you did not mess with him. You did not like cause problems for Mike Christian. No kidding. Yeah, 
he was and he's six foot two like he's a big dude yeah he was a big dude back then he was one of the biggest guys in golds like six foot two you know like biggest that way yeah and everyone knew that mike was like not afraid to just you know if you disrespected him in the gym or took his equipment or something he would tell you to get the fuck off my piece of equipment like he did not but he's a nice guy. Look at the big smile on his face. He's like, yeah. he's like one of those dudes, you know, like he'll smile all day and then just knock somebody out. Actually, a little bit high. It's very tight on guys with big thighs. The thighs were very tight and uncomfortable. It's funny back then. There's like a couple dudes that had knocked people out in the gym, and they're still in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> had to finish his workout when he was done. Yeah. They need to he had a run in with the Barbarian Brothers, I think, once. Oh God. Oh. Yeah, these are he, his pants, by the way. These are his his, his yeah, crazy wear. Is that what he yeah, had? he had crazy wear. He had crazy wear. Yeah, he was a business bit of a businessman back then. He was running the crazy wear pants and all that. He got into so, it though with uh, the Barbarian Brothers. He got. I think he had a run in with one of the Barbarian Brothers. Yeah. 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 You know, he'd be a great guest on the show. I'm sure he wouldn't want to all spend his stories. time hanging out with us. But yeah, imagine the stories he could tell us. Well, he had that whole decade of where he was a cokehead and he like lost everything and then had to like, oh. get it all back and all that. He's got a crazy story. Crazy. It'd be story. cool to hear it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This is a great video. I gotta watch this at some point. You got a headband. Still wears those. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? I follow him on Instagram. I could, I could send. I him think a I do too. Yeah, you should, man. Drop him a message. Samir is five foot eight. I'm six one. I think that answers. Oh, he's six one. There we go. Yeah, he's a big guy. Cool. Oh, the pants, dude. There's Lee Haney. Lee Haney. I'm gonna blow him away. I want you guys to get that. Make sure you get that on the camera. Mike Christian is my meat next year. I'll get him next year. Watch it in Italy. Where's Lee Haney? Watch it in Italy. <laughs> this is great. I'm gonna get him in Italy. <laughs> there we go. Look at the shorts Haney had on. Do you see those? Those tiny oh, shorts. Jesus. Here's a man. I see what Haney looks yeah, like. he's like 240 back then. 238, 240. Well, he certainly looks I don't know. big. 88. I don't know. Look good he here. Holy hard. shit. What do you think he weighs? He looks like he's ready. 240. This may be 244. Lee's symmetry looks, in fact, I think better than ever right now. Just standing there, Lee looks like the winner. 243 and a quarter pounds. Oh! Wow. I went over. <laughs> 243 and a quarter. I like how they said, just standing there, he looks like the winner. Yeah. <laughs> and the next day he just kills everyone. They say, have a bite for me. Okay. <laughs> You're really cut up. Are you going to make it this time? Yeah. yeah. I'll make it this time. <laughs> I think you've got a comp toughest competition in your life. I know, Barry. Yeah. Barry looks, Barry looks great. Yeah, he's only Still going to kill them all. He really is. Yeah. yeah. Four or five others that he's are just being polite. Yeah. Pull up to some of his training here. Oh, we got a commercial. Just being polite. That's funny. <laughs> it's got skills and it's a showstopper. Talking yeah, about Haney was a hell of a guy. I follow him on uh, Facebook. He posts a lot of stuff about like hanging out with his wife and doing stuff and praising the Lord. He's like still he's still out there. He's still like you know doing his posts and everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there we go. go. I like that they oh, switched like the music school form. rap. Yeah, I'm the Godfather. <laughs> There's no contest, so now you people know and don't have to guess. I'm not the king of rap, not lord, not prince. Oh, I wasn't just great. Do you know what his partner's name is? Oh. That's sliced to you. It's a rope man. I'm trying to remember what his name I remember his nickname. Hi. Hi, rope man. I just got a Look at that pack. Look at those packs. Oh, crossroads would be unbelievable. Ty, the rope man, Felder. Yep. That's right. Yep. I'm amazed I remembered that. They call him the rope man because he had veins. His arms are real veiny. So they call him the rope man. Right. That's what I think That's awesome. For, yeah. 
Yeah, and he was Lee Haney's training partner for a long time. He kind of got into all the magazine shoots and stuff. Everyone kind of knew who the rope man was. Okay. And he's been involved in bodybuilding. I think he's like the chairman of some... He's still, yeah. For like a long time. You still see him all the time. She was bashful about it. Oh, no. So thick as pecs are, even when he's doing the pull downs. Yeah, it's insanity. Olympia, Twelve months out of the year, the intensity starts to increase about six months away from the show, uh, and then the final twelve weeks is when I really start to pour it on, because the body cannot withstand uh, a great deal of punishment an entire uh, seventeen, eighteen weeks. Huh. 12 weeks is very intense. The rest is also intense, but uh, not mind-blowing. When I go towards getting more quality in the muscle, the repetition is ranging anywhere between 10 to 15. It reminds me a lot of Drea's training. And the sets, I generally increase. Uh, yeah, well, she's got a pretty old-school coach, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, almost that era in a way. Come on, baby, let's go. You notice, like, there's no straps on anything? Oh, yeah. Just grab bars. Yeah. Like... My forearms would, would be blown just because I've gotten so used to straps. Yeah. <laughs> see, force negative. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> You're the brachialis. You if my training partner Oof. is not a plus for me, then I choose not to use one. There you go. If my training partner is not a plus, I choose not to uh, use one. A couple one. of years ago, uh, there in Atlanta, when they, we were having a freedom march, the clans there did stop the march and turn the the uh, freedom marches around and the whole nation and the world was appalled at what happened and I felt an obligation to be there at that second march and no matter what oh, the cause was I'm, I know that there was a certain amount of danger that I would have to face but I could not lie there and sleep huh. while uh, other men risked their lives and their safety and I sit around and reap the benefits of it because when it rains it does not rain on one man's house it rains on all men's house. Hey, I made listen to Lee Haney with the wisdom. Yeah. I love their talking trash. Nobody you, This is amazing. <laughs> That's funny that him and Mike were doing that for the camera. Yeah. Man, the, the tank tops. I just can't get over those strings. So I'm a rooster, and he's a chicken, so to speak. <laughs> All right, let's pull it up here to the. Uh, oh, dare yourself to dream. That's See funny. Next year. It's Tom Flash with Video Four. Bye bye. Wait, what? This is the end? Oh. They not show it. the actual show? No, no, it's just the training for the show, I guess. This is a okay. battle for the Olympia. It's the same. Tom Platz yeah. is uh, yeah. driving his Porsche. hasn't happened yet. Okay. Tom Platz is driving off in his Porsche. I like that car. That is good. <sighs> That's funny. Well, I encourage yeah, everybody to go. Yeah, a snapshot in, in yeah. the 80, late 80s gold oh, tennis. Oh, roller league. skates going by after it's over. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Got to hand it to the editors. Yeah, this is amazing. Tegan Clive. Wow. Huh. That was great. Yeah, that was fantastic. You guys are just introducing you know, me to more and more things I've never seen. Scott, well yeah. played. Yeah. Well played. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if everybody yeah. else will. I don't know how many of our followers will enjoy that one, but I like that one. That was yeah. You that have was cool. to enjoy it looking yeah. back. I mean, yeah. the physiques of those guys back then, like yeah. Just keep in mind what, oh. how much gear they had. Like yeah, yeah. yeah they didn't have. Like, it was so expensive. It was hard to get. There was so much fake garbage around like and it, yeah. it was just it was a tough time man it was not easy to be a good bodybuilder in the late 80s like that and i'm you sure know? people weren't taking nearly what they're taking now guys were probably oh, taking no. complete time off all that you know or yeah well you heard haney say he gets starts getting ready for the olympia about six months out yeah right? yeah so like is he even training like the rest of the time like who knows you know yeah so mm -hmm. yeah and i think you know if you really want to understand where you are you have to understand where it comes from and i think I that it's it's important everyone take a minute and like like watch some old videos and learn like 
You know, a lot of this stuff that people think is like new. It's like, no, they've been doing this for a long time. You saw Rich Gaspar, he had a waist trainer on. Yeah, exactly. didn't talk about them. He's wearing one. Never talked about it. Nope. Yeah. Right? So it's just kind of funny. But I enjoy that stuff. Likewise. You know, we'll have to find, it, we'll see if we can find a link to some blood and guts. I looked for oh, some yeah. videos. We'll, 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 maybe we'll do a newer one next, blood and guts, J yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Jump okay. to the future I'm a little bit. Still in the past, yeah. but still a little, little more recent, you know? Yeah, I'm all for that. So remember, everyone, like, share, subscribe, comment, and... Ring the bell. Ring the bell. And remember, if, if you're just coming into us watching this watch party style video, remember, we have an actual podcast. Yes. So yes. look back at the most of the episodes are just po- are us just podcasting. So this is yeah. a kind of a new thing, these little watch parties, and we really are having fun with them. And we're really glad you guys are. Like the feedback is, is better than we expected, <laughs> to be honest. So, uh, <laughs> so it's fun for us too, you know. Um, but remember, uh, IamMutant.com, proud sponsor of the show. Check out IamMutant.com. Get your all in. Get your ISO surge, and everyone should get on the gear. Get Dusty madness. 20. Yeah. Dusty 20, Big Ron 20 are your codes if you want 20% off. And remember the Think Big Bodybuilding Patreon. Keep a producer homed. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you again. And remember, everyone, it's just bodybuilding. Bodybuilding.